Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Our Mox Masters Tournament is back. On Saturday, December 3rd, we will be hosting another webcam CEDH tournament. It is 100% proxy friendly and played in the comfort of your own home. Top 16 gets $60, top 4 gets $200, and the winner gets $500. Spots fill up very quickly, so sign up now and reserve your spot. Link is in the description below. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Mike, Paladin Rocco, Cabaretti Caterer. This deck seeks to win through a number of creature loops, including Goto Helm, Kiki Felidar, and Food Chain Lines. Mike's opening hand contains a Beseju Who Endures, Temple Garden, Sylvan Library, Lanawar Elves, Mana Vault, Finale of Devastation, and a Deafening Silence. Next, we have a Shawnee, Paladin Shorkai, Genesis Engine. This deck controls the board and shuts down opponents through Humility before going off with Icer Rev or Hullbreaker Horror Lines. Ashani's opening hand contains a Mana Vault, Ristic Study, Cyclonic Rift, Polluted Delta, Command Tower, Portable Hole, and Islanda Mulligan is a Flooded Strand. After that we have Dawn, Paladin Xur the Enchanter. This is a mid-range stacks deck that wins through Rest in Peace and Helm of Obedience to mill out his opponents. Dawn's opening hand contains a Dranith Magistrate, Chrome Mox, Torpor Orb, Mana Crypt, Bloodstained Mire, Windswept Heath, and his London Mulligan is a counterbalance. Finally, we have our Mox Pearl Patron Nick, Piloting Hapatra, Vizier of Poisons. This deck seeks to resolve Ad Nauseam and win through either Protean Hulk Lines or Hapatra and Yawgmoth. Nick's opening hand contains a Collector Oof, Slaughter Pact, Forest, Birds of Paradise, Endurance, Ancient Tomb, and his London Mulligan is a Lanawar Elves. Without further ado, let's kick off this quarterly quality quantitative quest. Mike won the horseback riding competition and gets to start us off. Mike draws a card for turn and plays a Temple Garden into play untapped, paying two life. He casts a turn one, deafening silence. The table rethinks their opening strategy as Mike passes the turn. Ashani draws a card for turn and plays a Polluted Delta. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tundra onto the battlefield. He casts a Mana Vault and ends his turn. Dawn draws and plays a Windswept Teeth. He casts a Mana Crypt. Shut off by deafening silence, he passes. Nick draws and plays a Forest. He casts a Birds of Paradise. Nick ships the turn to Mike. Mike draws and plays a Plateau. He casts a Mana Ball. He casts a Land of War Elves. Mike passes. At the end of Mike's turn, Dawn cracks his Windswept Teeth, pays a life, and fetches up a Tundra onto the battlefield. Ashani draws and plays a Command Tower. He casts a Mystic Remora. He ends his turn. During his upkeep, Dawn loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws and plays a Bloodstained Mire. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. He casts a Dranith Magistrate. He casts a Torpor Orb. Remora triggers, and Ashani draws. The table feels the stacks squeeze even more, and Dawn passes the turn. Nick draws and plays a Land of War Wastes. Not wanting to feel left out, he casts a Collector Oof, shutting down the board even more. The table groans, and Nick gives the turn to Mike. Mike draws and casts a Sylvan Library. Remora triggers, and Ashani draws. Mike passes. During his upkeep, Ashani lets his Remora die. He draws and plays a Misty Rainforest. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an island onto the battlefield. He casts a Ristic Study. Ashani ends his turn. During his upkeep, Dawn loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and casts Chrome Mox. Ristic triggers and Dawn pays. Chrome Mox resolves and Dawn imprints Mana Vortex. He moves to combat and attacks Ashani with Dranith Magistrate. Ashani takes it and Dawn gives the turn to Nick. Nick draws, plays an Ancient Tomb, and passes. During his draw step, Mike draws 2 extra cards through Sylvan Library, paying 8 life to keep them both. He plays a Bloodstained Mire for turn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Taiga onto the battlefield. He casts a Carpet of Flowers, paying the Ristic Tax. Finished up, Mike passes. At the end of Mike's turn, Nick taps his Ancient Tomb and his Lanawar Waste to help cast Ad Nauseam. Ad Nause resolves and Nick reveals an Assassin's Trophy, Body Snatcher, Forest, Sylvan Safekeeper, Zulaport Cutthroat, Mana Vault, Utopia Sprawl, Nature's Claim, Lesser Masticore, Mana Confluence, Autumn's Veil, Phyrexian Tower, Mana Crypt, Nurturing Peatland, Overgrown Tomb, Arbor Elf, Verdant Catacombs, Lotus Petal, Marsh Flats, Deathrite Shaman, Devoted Druid, Earthcraft, Crop Rotation, Forbidden Orchard, Allosaur Shepherd, Veil of Summer, Dothy Voidwalker, Swamp, Dark Ritual, Cabal Therapy, Dark Confidant, Carpet of Flowers, and a Survival of the Fittest, deciding to stop there. The turn moves to Ashani. Ashani draws and plays an island. He passes. During his upkeep, Dawn loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Mike with Dranith. Mike takes it, and Dawn passes to Nick. Nick draws and starts off his turn by casting Allosaur Shepherd. Ristic triggers, and Ashani draws. Nick plays a Forbidden Orchard for turn. He taps his Forbidden Orchard, giving Dawn a Spirit to cast Assassin's Trophy, targeting Deafening Silence. Ristic triggers, and Ashani draws again. Deafening Silence is destroyed, and Mike fetches up a Forest onto the battlefield. 
Next, Nick casts Crop Rotation, sacrificing a forest as an additional cost. Ristic triggers and Ashani draws. In response, Ashani casts Chain of Vapor, targeting Allosaurus Shepard in order for the table to be able to interact this turn. Chain resolves, Shepard bounces, and Nick continues the chain. He sacks the land, targeting Ristic Study. In response, Ashani casts Dispel, countering Crop Rotation. Then Ristic bounces, and Ashani stops the chain. Nick casts Lotus Petal. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts Slaughter Pact, destroying his own Collector Oof. He sacks his Lotus Petal to cast Carpet of Flowers. He moves to a second main phase and adds three green through his carpet. He casts Survival of the Fittest. He casts a Mana Vault. Seeing that he doesn't have a way to win this turn, he must now set up for his next turn. He casts Nature's Claim, targeting his own Mana Crypt. Crypt is destroyed, and Nick gains four life. Finished up, Nick passes. At the end of Nick's turn, Mike cast a Fused Wear and Tear, targeting Survival of the Fittest and Torpor Orb. In response, Ashani casts Swan Song. Wear and Tear is countered, and Mike creates a 2-2 bird. Nick discards the hand size, and the turn moves to Mike. During his draw step, Mike draws two extra through Sylvan Library, paying eight life to keep them both. In his first main phase, he adds three red through his carpet. He channels Beseju, who endures, targeting Torpor Orb. Orb is destroyed, and Dawn fetches up a Godless Shrine onto the battlefield tap. Next, Mike casts Imperial Recruiter. It enters, and Mike fetches up a Grand Abolisher into his hand. He plays a Cavern of Souls, naming Human as it enters. He casts an uncounterable Grand Abolisher. It resolves, locking out his opponents this turn. Mike casts Finale of Devastation, where X equals 2. He fetches up a Dockside Extortionist onto the battlefield. It enters, and Mike creates 6 treasures. He casts Vivian on the Hunt. He activates Vivian's first ability, sacrificing Imperial Recruiter and fetching up a Felidar Guardian onto the battlefield. Guardian enters, and Mike flickers Vivian on the Hunt. He activates Vivian's first ability, sacrificing Felidar Guardian, fetching up Karmic Guide onto the battlefield. Karmic Guide enters, and Mike returns Felidar Guardian to the battlefield. Guardian enters, and flickers Vivian again. He activates Vivian's first ability, sacrificing Felidar Guardian, and fetching up a Kiki-Jiki Mirror Breaker onto the battlefield. Mike activates Kiki-Jiki, creating a copy of Karmic Guide. Karmic Guide enters, and Mike returns Felidar Guardian to the battlefield. Guardian enters, and Mike flickers Kiki-Jiki. Mike activates Kiki-Jiki, creating a copy of Felidar Guardian. Guardian enters and flickers Kiki-Jiki again. Mike presents a loop of activating and flickering Kiki-Jiki, creating infinite Felidar Guardian tokens with haste. He moves to combat, attacks with everything, and Mike wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a cool game. Congrats to Mike on his win. He was able to navigate the stacks pieces and kept cool during Nick's Gnaw's turn. He held back long enough to ensure that he had the opportunity to win and he seized that moment tonight. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like this, be sure to subscribe. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time when we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.